What up, though, world? It's your boy Trap Talk Blue, man. Listen, once again, um, I wake up, some bullshit on the news. It's just the world is going crazy, and it's like mostly my people, bro, and it's like we not thinking, man. Like, if anybody who follow me, you know I always say the same shit. These motherfuckers out here committing crimes with no plan on getting away. You know what I'm saying? It's like you killing people and doing harm to people for nothing. You not even gaining nothing of it, out of it. You when it took a man's life. You when it took a man's life for no fucking reason. Shot him ten times. Took his gun and his car. A police officer of all people you did that to. See, they gonna start making that shit federal. Like, when you start killing these police officers and shit, they can probably make some way they can make that under a federal law. Even if it's a state officer, somehow they can, they gonna, you know what I'm saying? If you can make a gun federal, you know killing the motherfucking police officer. You, your ass can get the motherfucking death penalty. Like, and you just walk up to him and shoot this motherfucker ten times? So, and take his car? Like, in a certain, his fucking gun, then they find a gun behind somebody's house, like... Was this a gang type of thing? You had to do something to be in the gang? I don't understand it. But now you in the courtroom looking stupid as a motherfucker. You ain't never coming home. And they about to beat the brakes off your motherfucking ass. Dog, you know how bad he about to have it in prison? Boy, this boy about to suffer his whole life. 23 years old, my nigga. 23 years old. He about to be a dog. In 30 years from now, they're going to be doing a, that shit in prison. He's going to be like, yeah, I killed the motherfucker in 2024. It's going to be 2080. This nigga is still going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, for what the fuck? Like, what did you get out of it? What could you have done? What kind of car could a police officer actually have? It wasn't like he was... I don't give a fuck what it was. But it wasn't like he was out here in no fucking... Uh, Rolls Royce and no shit that you could have got some real money for. Yo dumb ass went... Killed the police officer and just went on a run. Got caught. Now you about to do life in fucking prison. You hurting your mama, the people that love you. You know what I'm saying? It's just, tell me how, how I mean, listen, dog. Please, I mean, there's no, niggas don't got no hustle in them no more. Motherfuckers out here just doing stupid shit to follow behind some more stupid motherfuckers. This gang shit is crazy in some places. For real, man, this gang shit is the lamest shit ever, dog. For real. Like, I never seen a gang work right in my life. I never seen a paid gang member. If anybody who follow me once again, look down my motherfucking channel. I have never seen a get money getting gang member. Not not no black one. Never seen it in my life. Every time they show gangs, they show bum shit. They show 30 motherfuckers sharing one cigarette, drinking beers, dicky suits on. Most of these niggas ain't even got cars. They on bikes. You see the Mexicans out there. These motherfuckers are hundred thousand uh, dollar, six three six four six two Impalas and shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers getting to the money, sticking together. Niggas just out there want to hurt something. Ain't trying to get no money. Niggas just want to go out and commit violent crimes and steal bum shit. That's all bum shit. Anytime you got to go out and steal every day. And Rob, nigga, you use a fucking bum. You out here killing other motherfuckers. You need to be doing yourself. The fuck is you out here killing all these innocent people for doing all this violent crime, bringing heat to you? It's like these niggas love jail. Like, I never seen so much. Look, dog, when I look at this shit, like, they went, went, look, like that no jumper shit. It's just a bunch of motherfuckers who done been in jail a thousand times. Nigga, you not good at committing crimes. It's like niggas commit crimes not to get money but to go to jail. It's like, for, I mean, come on, man. How many times you going to do the same dumb shit without no out? You don't have no getaway plan? I'm just going to shoot this motherfucker in front of everybody and act like, and then go off on run. I'm too broke to leave the state. Most stupid motherfuckers who kill somebody or do some crime, they never even leave a fucking state neighborhood. Them motherfuckers somewhere in the neighborhood they get because they, they too broke to go anywhere. But you a game banger though, man. Ain't no motherfucking way. I'ma tell a nigga I'm in a crip or blood gang, and I ain't got two red niggas. I'm out here robbing. Nigga, we a gang. We supposed to be getting to some money. 
But that's the problem. Ain't nobody hustling no more. The, the days of hustling is over. Everybody want to scam or rob. It's either one of the two. And all this killing shit they doing just for no reason. Police is dying all, oh, man. You know it's about to be. All y'all niggas, you cannot get money. That's how you know these niggas ain't getting no money. They too violent. You know what motherfucking... Listen, this how you know motherfuckers ain't getting no money. Money getting motherfuckers ain't violent. We don't don't know nigga getting money. Won't nobody doing no violent, stupid shit for what? Fuck we doing violence for, nigga. We in this shit for the money. If a nigga ran off with some shit, fuck him. He can't do it no more. He fucked himself. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't never going to get nobody nothing that I can't afford to lose no way. So you bought yourself, nigga. You come and rob something, that's different. Now, nah, okay, that's when motherfuckers murder start happening. But it ain't going to just be no murder, 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 murder for nothing. Because now you bringing the police over here to us when they weren't even paying attention. Now they got to come over here because y'all niggas, y'all a violent crew. Like I say, man, Big Meats in jail for 30 years, man, I can't understand it, dog. I just don't understand Big Meats being in jail for 30 motherfucking years. And I'm watching all these killers and scantless motherfuckers get white half the time. I just watched this shit called the Goon Squad out of Mississippi. These police, there was like six police officers. Man, they wrecked, they home invaded a nigga. First of all, they killed two motherfuckers before this. Known they killed them. Killed two black motherfuckers before this. They, you know, they, but it was like, you know, they couldn't, it was like, they killed them on purpose, but it was kind of swept under the rug or whatever. They know they killed these two motherfuckers. They, they, the family got lawsuits, but they never went to jail for it. So what happened, these motherfuckers run in the house. Because, look, this is what happened. Okay, look. One of the police officers, one of the police officers lived in the neighborhood. They neighbor called the police officer like, hey, it's some black guys. They move next door. You know, they got, like, they having a lot of people coming in their house or something. You know, they black. So, the police officer called his goon squad up. They called him the goon squad because, you know, they do scantless shit. So he called the rest of the little goon squad up, which was five more motherfuckers. Like, y'all y'all ready to put in some work tonight? They went at home and they did, kicked the door down with no warrant. Beat these niggas. Took a deal dough and fucked the nigga in the ass with it. Literally, pulled a man pants down and fucked him in the ass with a deal dough. Beat the shit out these niggas. Put a gun in the one boy mouth and shot and shot him in the mouth. Shot him through the mouth and it came out his neck. Right? Now that's unbelievable. Now how in the fuck do they not get a life sentence? I'm about to do another one on that because I'm highly pissed about that. But that's a whole nother one. These motherfuckers got 15 years. Some of them got 20 plus 20, but it's all ran concurrent. You know what I'm saying? It's all ran concurrent. They didn't get them for the shooting. They got them all for the robbery. They got them for the uh, something, the prosecution and the robbery. But tell me these motherfuckers. Now, you, now they did all that shit. Fucked a man in the ass with a deal, though. Shot a man in the face. Tried to kill him. Attempted murder. Close range. Put the, the gun went across his tongue, my nigga, and went out his neck. So his tongue was lacerated, and the, and the bullet came out his neck. It could have paralyzed him or killed him. And this motherfucker gets... One of them got 10 years. The other motherfuckers all got 15 years. Oh, yeah, one got 20. But they, they you know, it's, it's federal time, too. So, you know, 17 years out to 20, 12 out to 15 or some shit. Probably come home a little less with classes. You know what I'm saying? But you get big meats and money getting nigga 30 years. They, they, they do niggas bow all the time. And that's Mississippi. So, you know, justice one going to be served. But one thing about it, though, 15 years is a long motherfucking time. You know, I just wanted more time for niggas like that. Because if it, I, I think 15 years is a long time, especially these motherfuckers in their 30s and 40s already. 15 years, then they're going to kill these motherfuckers if they make it through there. But what I'm saying is, how you going to give a drug dealing motherfucker who ain't never killed nobody? And these the drugs you put here. I just took what you did and made. I just took the shit that you brought here and made sugar out of it. And you gave me 30 years. You know what I'm saying? You should be having me out this motherfucker now teaching a class to the to the rich. You know what I'm saying? You know, Big me, Meach, me, y'all had this nigga here just as long as he should have killed somebody. Like, what's the difference of him killing somebody? 
He could have killed several motherfuckers and probably didn't get this time but because he sold drugs. Listen, this is what I try to tell y'all so many times. They make these laws for niggas. They knew that niggas was the, you know, they knew that we was the ones that, the flashy motherfuckers, they knew that. They, they didn't give a fuck how we was getting it. They didn't give a fuck about the Colombians. We just want to lock the niggas up. So that's why the laws like they is. You get caught with 50 grams and over, 20 years and all that shit. They, Because they knew white people weren't selling it. They was using it. And the white people that were selling it, they not going to fuck with every day. The niggas, they, they put it all in one part, in one hood. So they know, hey, this is where it's being distributed at. And this and this. They know it's not going to bother too many white people. So they made this laws for niggas. All these draw, all drug laws is made for niggas. They, they, this, you know it's made for black motherfuckers. It's not made for nobody else. So when they get these 10, 20 years, it's only meant for black people. Just like these guns, they trying to give 10, 15 years. Of, this is a nigga law. Because they know most niggas going to go get a... Because they watch all this YouTube shit. They going to go get an illegal gun because you can't get a gun till you 21. And most motherfuckers who get ca caught with guns is what? Teenagers. They know that. That's why this shit 21 years old. They know about the time a motherfucker, be before he turned from, from 12 to 21, you think a motherfucker in the hood, you know he going to have a felony by 10 to 21 years old. Some type of trouble he going to get in. He too poor to get himself out of. Even if he did it or he didn't, he going to have to take a cop to a felony. So... They know they got niggas. Half these young boys probably was just somewhere they ain't need to be, but this ain't had the money to fight the case, and and and, and was scared of, is scared to take it to trial, and they cop out, and they know that. So this is what they do all day. They whole tactics. Just go fuck with a whole bunch of niggas, guilty or not. If you find anything on them, bring their ass in here. They don't got no money to fight it, so they gonna cop out to it. So that's a win for the prosecution. That's a win for our police department. Flat the fuck out. I know how I work, man. I've been there, done that shit. I watched that shit. And that's what it is, man. But I'm telling you, man, y'all got to get some hustle about yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to get some motherfucking hustle about yourself, dog. All this violent shit ain't where it's at, man. That's why I be saying these game-banging ass shows and shit. Y'all promoting this bum activity. That's what y'all promoting to the kid. That's bum-ass activity. What? Well, when have a game member ever been successful? Show me one nigga. You ain't the niggas who becoming game members ain't never even seen another game member successful. It's a bunch of niggas out there ain't even got a car. It's twenty niggas out there ain't one of y'all motherfuckers got a car. Ain't nobody in the fucking bins. They don't. And it's crazy because at least the niggas who sell drugs who want to go sell dope, you like shit. I want to vet. I want to escalate. I want at least you see something successful or you know what I'm saying. There's something positive. Look, I can live a better life by selling this shit. I can take this wrong and make it right out of it. You understand what I'm saying? I can live a better life. If I can take this shit and make enough money to get a business and get up out of here. So I understand that. I take that chance. A hustler's dream. You know what I'm saying? But to look at a gang banging motherfucker out here with a cheap ass dicky suit on. You know what I'm saying? Riding a goddamn lowrider bike because you're too poor to afford a real fucking lowrider. Like, I just don't understand this. Niggas crit walking broke as a motherfucker with a 40-ounce of beer in his head. These niggas ain't popping champagne or none of that shit, my nigga. Tattoos all over your face like you a killer and you a whole ho. I see that shit all the time. Niggas, niggas, niggas getting tattoos on their face like they a killer. Nigga, you a whole ho, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Anybody can shoot, my nigga. That, that, that's just what it is, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So much, you know, that, you know, that tattoo shit is crazy to put that shit on. I mean, you know, you do what you want. Nowadays, it's a, you know, back in the day, it was a sign of something. Now that shit don't mean nothing, nigga. Homosexuals putting that shit on their face. Real talk. Anybody getting tattoos now. You know, back in the day, you had tattoos, nigga. That shit meant something. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody doing. That's why I say niggas will play anything out. For real, man. Nigga, who would have thought Rolex would have got played out? White tees would have been played out. Niggas would play anything out. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just do it, do too much. So many fake ass watches out here, fake ass jewelry. It's the shit that I seen called goo. This motherfucker, it's a uh, it's a company. And 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 it and it and it uh it, it says hip hop's biggest jeweler. That's what they say. Hip hop's bigger than jewelry. It's called G U U, my nigga. Look it up. And this shit sells fake jewelry. It's fake ass jewelry. 
So, you know, when you see all these niggas with the same ass chains on, same tight ass pants on, same tattoos on their fucking face, it's just it, nobody being different, my nigga. It's like everybody want to be the same, man. It's like this world is coming to a fucking end, man. And and the reason I say that about the jury and the, and the, and the face tattoos and tattoos because it it go to the, the show that people are followers. That's all I'm saying. There's nothing wrong. I mean, you know, it's just always been trends. There's nothing wrong with a trend. But it just shows that people are real followers, and they really believe what they see on this TV. It's like you can put people people don't have common sense like you think. Like you would think a person should know that this shit, this nigga talking ain't real. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You can look at them and see how they don't everybody have that street smart because every, every, most of these motherfuckers not street smart at all. They internet smart. So the real street niggas out here moving, not trying to be seen and trying to stay out the light, right? They 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 not looking at the real street niggas. They looking at the internet street niggas, so-called street niggas. So it needs the loud mouth motherfuckers who want to come on and brag and tell about everything they doing, not knowing nigga the feds is watching all this shit. So y'all moving wrong. Y'all, but you know, you, you get a real street nigga out here, they make fun of them. Like, oh, you don't know what you talking about. It's just, it's just, it baffles me how the world done flipped upside down, my nigga. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. You know, but like I say, this violent shit, you being violent, man, you can never get money. Money and violence never mix. Violence is only a tactic you use when, when, when you know, when, when you know, you can't be in the game too much without violence. But over excessive violence, you know what I'm saying? You move when you have to. You know, with all that shit, just doing unnecessary violence and shootings and shit. And and and, and once again, you niggas just go out the house one day and never come back. It's like you walk out the house one day and was like, fuck it, I'm going to do this to prove to these motherfuckers nobody has niggas. Because ain't now one of these niggas that you about to try to show you hard to. You want you want that you want to be a King Vine, so everybody want to step up and be like what they TV geek King Vine up to be, right? Everybody want to be that King Vine now, right? That shooter, so they want to go out here and show the rest of these niggas that I'm a shooter like King Vine. But what you don't know, the rest of these niggas ain't built like King Vine Click. These niggas is rats, my dog. And you doing stupid shit, man? Come on, man. In today's time, you're not getting away with none of this shit. For those that don't know, it's some shit that's called an eye in the sky, my nigga. They don't have to go off no goddamn camera. Cameras are everywhere, number one. But nigga, that eye in the sky, bro, you're not getting away with nothing. They can solve every murder. They can come get niggas for murders 30 years ago if they want to. Believe me, if they wanted to solve every damn every murder, knowing a the man, they can. But they say... Big brother, they can't use big brother, so they say. They say they can't use big brother, but come on, man. They know who killed Kennedy, Martin Luther King, all that shit. That satellite been up there for years, dog. And, nigga, they can see the serial. My uncle told me this years ago. I remember this yesterday. My uncle say, nigga, they can see the motherfucking date on a penny on the ground if they want to from that satellite. And that was in the 80s he told me that. You know what I'm saying? I remember that clear 